Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Those of you that follow me know I enjoy uh, deals and, and new pens and exploring them and, and sharing them with my viewers. So when I saw this pen on eBay, I just couldn't pass it up. It was a Winsung Piston Fill Pen. So it just came in this uh, classic plastic mailer pouch inside wrapped in bubble wrap was the pen in a little plastic case slips out includes a uh, little um, velvet pouch to carry it in which is very nice I've been getting these in a lot of the Chinese pens I've been ordering from both Amazon and eBay and then the pen is in this plastic uh, display case something that you would uh, put in a retail type of store it's a fine nib on the back is a little bit of a description so it just pops open I've already opened it up I haven't inked it that I'm going to do a little bit later on but right away uh, the first thing I was surprised about is what is this looks like a cartridge converter doing here so you pop all of these pieces out Right away, your first impression of it feels good. This is not like the plastic that you're used to on uh, Chinese pens. This feels more like the PMMA acrylic or the precious resin that you get on Mont Blancs or Pelicans, kind of like what's on um, Pilots and, and Sailors and Platinum. So uh, they've definitely upped their game. Just a gold plated nib. And it's certainly a fine point, as you can see there. The feed looks very similar, kind of what we find on Pilot Metropolitans and 78Gs. Excellent little ink view window there. So it is a piston filler. And I'll get to that little, what looks like a cartridge converter. You know, this is uh, just a classic description. Everything is in Chinese, so I don't think this was made for... Uh, global distribution obviously it's a fountain pen instead of wing sung it's just wing s again a lot of chinese but then it has um, a full description of all the parts which i think is interesting it shows how the pen comes apart which kind of reminds you of twisby and then it shows you the filling mechanism so it is a piston filler you know, exert it into ink or whatever, and you can raise up the ink. And you know, here's another description. And this shows you swabbing the end of the piston with some, I assume, silicone type of grease. And then it shows you cleaning. So it's a very nice little descriptive model. And again, reminds you of Twispy. So when I first got this pen, I just turned the piston knob. And when I did that, the whole thing came off. So needless to say, I uh, wasn't paying attention, and I didn't really look at the eBay auction, which we'll show you, which gives you a description of what you're supposed to do. And what you do is this cap pulls out, and then you can turn it to lower the piston. You can see the piston in the ink view window there, move up and down. It moves extremely smoothly. You don't even notice it. And then when your piston comes all the way up, the cap snaps back on. So that's a unique filling mechanism. Dog hair everywhere. So the cap just threads on. A couple of nice threads. You have your wing S here at the bottom of the cap band. On the other side you have the number, which is a 698. There's been a couple written reviews on this pen, but nothing uh, video. The finial at the top is also interestingly done. Um, Chinese pens are not known for subtlety, so uh, that little engraving, kind of like a diamond cut thing, is actually kind of nice, I think. You know, a nice clean clip called Lucky. That's a very secure clip. So that, that's done nicely. And the whole pen feels well. The plating is nice. So this is definitely an upscale uh, Chinese pen, unique filling mechanism here at the back. The only thing that I would say that is a little bit strange is there's a... You normally expect these cap bands to be flush with the cap, but this one's not. You know, it's, it's okay here at the bottom, but at the top it has quite a, a big uh, lip there. So as a design feature, I just find that 
not in the level of quality that you would expect from a, a pen like this. It, it wasn't that expensive. You know, the eBay auction was good. It, it got here in 10 days from China, which is also pretty fast. So that was kind of nice. So we're going to ink this up and, and just uh, see how this thing writes. I'm going to let it, um, I'm going to use it for a couple days before I finish the review. Before we get into writing, this is a question as to what could this cartridge converter be for? You can see there's a little air bubble in there and there's a, a gel in there and it's uh, a sealed at the end. So I'm assuming this is the silicone gel that you would use to lubricate the pen if you took it apart for cleaning. And the way that piston function works, if you just turn the cap without pulling it out, the whole mechanism comes apart very easily, making it easy to clean. So it's, it's definitely, they've definitely taken the piston filler to another new level. You don't need a Twisby wrench to take this one apart. Um, and I'm impressed. I mean, the quality of materials is good. I've ordered a, a, a clear one, and hopefully when that one shows up, we'll, we'll do a review on that one, because that one, I think, would definitely remind you of a, of a 580. I'd like to stress before using a new pen, especially uh, one from Japan, uh, China, is to flush the uh, nib and feed. So this one unscrews very easily, and as you unscrew it, you'll notice there's a nice uh, rubber O-ring there at the bottom. I've Put already some of my own silicone grease on these threads into the o-ring just to make certain they seal up this is my bulb filler which goes easily on there here's my solution of ammonia and cleaning agents so we're going to flush this a couple times i like the fact that you uh, heard a nice gurgle of water and if you look at this you can see that the flow looks like it's going to be pretty good so I generally do this just twice and then I'm going to do the same type of flush with just clean water to just get all the cleaning agents out. So I think this is critical to do with every new pen no matter who makes it. It's hard to do with piston fillers but this one obviously is easy to take apart and, just, and uh, accommodates cleaning like this with the bulb. I've had this uh, wing sung now for a couple days and I've been writing with it so we'll be able to review that. And as a comparison, in a similar price point, um, maybe a few dollars more, but certainly available with uh, different nibs is the Nemocene Singlair. And also, I wanted to compare with the two pilots I have here because they share a similar nib and feed to uh, the Wing S pen. So let's uh, take a look at those. You can see the Wing S is definitely um, larger. Uh, both in length and, and girth, so that gives it a little bit of a higher end quality to it. And I think uh, the plastic materials in here are certainly uh, nicer to the feel, a little bit more weight to the pen will give you uh, that weight. So that's uh, where they stand there. So if we uh, take a look at this and open up the cap, you'll notice now that the ink window is opaque because there is ink in there. Um, the section is, I think, a decent size. It probably could be a few millimeters uh, larger for my hands, and it'll give you those dimensions. So let's uh, compare it to these two pilots, and I think you'll see why I put these together as a group. So just looking at the sections and nibs, uh, the Wing S is uh, certainly a little bit um, girthier and longer than uh, the two Pilot examples. And nibs are similar, uh, breather holes. The um, wing is a little bit wider, which um, shows up in the writing, which I will demonstrate uh, a little bit later. But what is really interesting is the feed is pretty much identical on these three pens. So that in itself is, is kind of interesting. Um, you know, one of the theories about a lot of the Chinese pens is the factories make a lot of other pens for other people and the equipment gets reused. So that might be the case in this situation or it could just be imitation, but that's a little bit harder to understand as to why they would go to that effort to retool and do something like that to make the feed come out the way that it does. 
if you can bring in the Nemo scene into the play, I think you'll see another thing that differentiates the Nemo scene is um, a number six nib, which is substantially larger than the nibs on the other pens. And it also has a more classic comb feet on the back. Um, so overall, you know, the Nemo scene is a little bit uh, more expensive, but you get a lot more of a choice of nibs there, and you can also put a, oh, any number six nib into this pen. Uh, the section is about the same, you know, right here the wing does have a, a, a bigger section, so there it is uh, a little bit nicer. And of course, this is the only one with a built-in uh, piston fill system. To putting a uh, nib to paper, and I mentioned uh, the way the cap band here is kind of, uh, there's a large step up here, which I think is just uh, just not good engineering and not good design. But the other thing is, is this doesn't post. I mean, it seems to want to post, but it just falls right off. So if you're someone who needs to post a pen, this one is not going to make it. Other people have said when you do post it, this piston knob may turn, but it's kind of locked in place. I can't imagine that happening, but um, I'm not going to explore why this doesn't post. It almost feels like um, there should be a, a breather hole here in the cap that allows the air to come out because when you push it on, it kind of pushes back. But the pen fits fine in the hand without posting, so it's not necessary. It's a very light pen. We'll show you those uh, measurements. So I've had a lot of experience with um, inexpensive Chinese pens. And the minute I put this nib to paper, I was immediately impressed with how smooth this nib was. Uh, the nice amount of ink that it lays down on the paper. Let's put down that designation. It's a 698. I wrote a number of pages with this pen, and, and it was consistent writer all the time. And in the description, they call this a soft nib. So when you put a little pressure on it, it does open up a little bit. Not something I would want to do on a regular basis, because it's too much pressure um, to actually do without uh, impacting you know, how you feel and how comfortable the pen is. But as a daily writer, this is fine. Uh, and those people that like a, a fine nib, that's also good. Uh, the ink I used was a Robert Oster ink, uh, Deep Sea. Uh, the lens is on uh, telephoto, so it's going to not focus as nicely as it usually does. So I kind of thought the ink would look good in this pen, and it, it's kind of an interesting you know, blue-green, you know, kind of representative of the sea. You can also leave this pen set for a little bit, and it starts up pretty much all the time. I haven't let it set for a week. That's one of the challenges that I've had with my Jin Hao's and, and, and other Chinese pens, is they don't really maintain um, a wet nib. Uh, they dry out. I did do a slight bit of smoothing on this nib, uh, using it every day on Clairefontaine paper. I felt the nib was a little bit dry, but this is the uh, Fabriano paper, which has a little bit more texture to it, and I would say it's still on the dry side of a, of a nib. It's a good way when you uh, do this spread of the ink to actually see how the color comes out when it's a uh, not put down as thick. So overall, I'm, I'm happy with this pen. Happy enough that I ordered a clear version of it. So if I uh, still feel motivated, I'll do a video on that one. So overall, would I recommend buying this pen, which I think is something that I, I need to do when I review these inexpensive pens that are available on eBay. I haven't seen it on Amazon yet, but I'm certain it will show up soon. You know, buy, hold, or sell. There's a whole bunch of expressions you can use for that. I would say if you want a $20 piston filled pen that's well made and has some unique features to it and you like a fine 
Japanese or Chinese uh, style nib, then I'd say go for it. If you need something else, then uh, this may not be the pen for you. But as you know, I, I like to explore and, and try different things. I also like to share them with my audience. So uh, you don't have to spend your money to explore it unless you feel there's some reason for it. So uh, thank you for watching. And may you have many great writing experiences. Um, explore the wonderful world of pens. Sounds like we could do a TV show on that one. So keep on writing. Keep on enjoying all that life has to offer. Bye. There you can see it does uh, skip if you go too fast and you... The, the feed is uh, not saturating right. That uh, was really the end, but I, I did notice that occasionally, but you know now it showed up on uh, this live video. If you do it slowly, it does keep up. Uh, but that's, you know, I could open this up, you know, look at change the feed, maybe see if the feeds from the pilot will fit, you know, go to that nice stub nib from the 78G. But I wanted to show this pretty much as is a pen that you would get if you purchased this. So now we're going to officially do the end. Bye.